I promised you guys I would talk a little bit about how I transition some of my containers into fall. You don't have to transition them. If your annuals are still looking good and you wanna keep watering them, go for it. I'm someone that always am ready for change and I wanna usher in a new season. I grow pumpkins, sometimes supplementing with others, but I love to incorporate that into my landscape because you know what? When I'm looking out my windows, looking at my yard, I love that pop of color and I like to see fall. So these are containers that are over at the main farm that I talk about often where mom lives. And they're two reclaimed columns down at this new area I did and they have antique urns on top. I am ready to take my agave out and transition them. You guys are always asking about my agave. How do I keep them? What do I do? This is what I do and this is how easy it is. In the fall, <laughs> I pull them out. They get pretty root bound over the season. So they pull out pretty easily. And the thing is, since you're doing this every year, the agave can never really grow too large because you're always going to contain it. So what I do is drastically root prune it. And what that really means is I'm just gonna cut off a lot of this excess root on here. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm gonna just start tearing it apart. And what this really does, I think more than anything, is it helps it contain to a certain size. You know, it's not able just to keep setting its roots into the ground like it would in its habitat and get bigger and bigger. Instead, it's going to stay a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable. And that's why I'm able to kind of put these in a lot of the same pots I do. So I cut off some of the roots. I take off some of the extra soil that those roots kind of just created that look and that form on. And what I'm trying to do is keep it to a size of pot I have. So I keep tons of pots, simple things that like I buy perennials and shrubs or anything in. I keep them and then that's what I put all these plants in when fall comes. So if I pull this up, there's a few more here. I'm just gonna grab that big chunk and a good secateurs, you guys. Always have it. A Felco number two is my favorite. So now I have this pruned, trimmed agave. And I just make sure that it's gonna fit in my pot, which it does. I'm just gonna fill it up with soil, pot it like I would anything else, and then move on to the urn. So I'll get this potted, then we'll move on to the urn. I've potted this up, have the dirt in there, I'll water it in. Later on the season when we talk about my plant room, I'll explain, but really, I keep them cool, like in the 40 degree range. Don't really water them, they go dormant. So the pots are now empty. Sometimes I like to keep it really simple, just do one pumpkin. But also sometimes I like to switch it up and do multiple or pumpkin stacking. If you know me, you know I love pumpkin stacking. So. Sometimes you need to raise up. There's, you know, a little bit of depth in this pot. So a pumpkin may sink in. So I'll look for like, this is a nylon kind of bag. You could also use a flower pot upside down. Anything that you can put in here that will just maybe give it a good base if you need to on the pumpkin. So I'm gonna start with a Cinderella pumpkin. They stay a little bit more flat, but also round, obviously. And so they're a good stacking pumpkin. Certain pumpkins, are good stacking pumpkins. Cinderella, uh, flat white stacker, I think is called one. Literally a stacking pumpkin. I love these ones too. They're just so pretty. I love the color. Usually I try to grow mostly these muted tones, but this year they didn't all do well, so I have what I have. Now I will kind of work around, make sure I have one, a nice side, but also that it's sitting somewhat level. That's why I put this grapevine wreath on it too. The grapevine wreath, one, helps. If you keep soil in the pot, it raises up the pumpkin so it doesn't touch the soil because that moisture could trap underneath the pumpkin, cause it to rot. No good. Raising up is gonna help airflow. Two, it helps you be able to position the bottom pumpkin and create a level surface because it will take the pitfalls that it needs to make it level. I always think you need to go in threes. Personal preference whatever you feel. Now, when they get tall like this, I admit, I'm tall, so I kind of will play around with it. Get a ladder, don't be unsafe, you guys. OSHA would hate me. Okay, this is huge high impact, fun. It can get windy here. So I'm definitely gonna go with just a big Kentucky field pumpkin on both sides. You can't go wrong with it. It's just instant fall. You look out, you look from the house, you drive in the lane, you see fall. So that's how I transition my containers. 
the plants I keep like my agave, I pot back up, I put a grapevine wreath in for stability, either stack pumpkins or add one big one for an impact, share it around, tell the world, add pumpkins, make it fall, make it pretty, we need it in 2020. I'm gonna go do more. <laughs>